In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we honor two women, two mothers. The first is Saint Monica, the mother of Saint Augustine. We celebrate her memorial today. And we also honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus, whose image under the title of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Cardona, we welcome to the Manila Cathedral today. Let us pray in this Mass that like Saint Monica and the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may also be trustworthy and faithful servants of the Lord and His Church. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us be sorry for our many sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of Saint Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who are counting for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to Him that you are in Christ Jesus, whom become for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen for His own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear Him, upon those who hope for His kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. 
Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in Him our hearts rejoice, in His holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Please stand. I give you a new commandment, love one another as I have loved you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, and to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant, and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant, so you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. 
and throw this useless servant into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, don't you find it unusual that the Master in the parable of Jesus in our Gospel today, as he was going on a journey, would leave his money to his servants? Parang hindi normal ng isang amo ang isang Panginoon na aalis ay iiwan ang kanyang pera sa kanyang mga alipin. Why not to his wife? Why not to his children? Why not to his advisors? Why not to his financial managers? Meron naman sigurong mas pwedeng pagkatiwalaan ng kanyang kayamanan kaysa sa kanyang mga alipin. Kayo po na may mga kasambahay sa inyong tahanan, kapag po ba kayo'y magbabakasyon, iiwan nyo ba yung inyong pera sa inyong kasambahay? What this master did is quite unusual. We may never know the reason why the master in the story of Jesus left his possessions to his servants. But one thing is for sure. The master trusts his servants. May tiwala ang Panginoon sa kanyang mga lingkod. Kaya niya iniiwan sa kanila ang kanyang pera at kayamanan sa kanyang pag-alis dahil may tiwala siya sa kanila. It may sound ridiculous to some. It may sound unthinkable to many. But for this master who trusts his servants, what he was doing was simply an expression of that trust. Kahit na yung kanyang mga lingkod sa mata ng marami ay hindi dapat pagkatiwalaan, baka may nagsabi pa sa kanya, eh bakit mo iiwan sa mga lingkod mo? Ano bang alam niyan sa paghawak ng pera? Mapagkakatiwalaan ba talaga yan? Anong katiyakan mo na hindi nila itatakbo ang pera mo pag alis mo? Kahit na siguro maraming nagdududa sa ginawa ng among ito, malinaw sa isip niya na may tiwala siya sa kanyang mga lingkod. And this master is very much like God who according to St. Paul in our first reading today, chose the foolish of the world, chose the weak of the world, chose the lowly and despised of the world. God, according to St. Paul, chose those who are nothing to reduce to nothing those who were something. Kakaibang pumili ang Diyos. Yung mga sa tingin ng mundo ay hindi dapat piliin, yun ang pinipili ng Diyos. Yung sa tingin ng mundo ay karapat dapat, yun naman ang hindi pinipili ng Diyos. 
Yung sa tingin ng mundo ay mahina, sila ang pinipili ng Diyos. At yung nag, ma, nagpapakita na sila ay malakas, yun pa ang hindi pinipili ng Diyos. Ang pinipili daw ng Diyos, sabi ni San Pablo, ay yung mga walang-wala para ipakita doon sa mga nag-aastang sila'y meron na ang kapangyarihan ay nasa walang-wala na pinili ng Diyos. Kakaibang pumili ang Diyos. Kakaibang magtiwala ang Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, if we put ourselves in the place of the servants, what would we feel? Kapag tayo yung mga lingkod na yon, na alam natin tayo'y alipin lang, lingkod lang, pero pinagkatiwalaan tayo, ano kaya ang mararamdaman natin? Would we not do our best to prove that our master is not wrong in trusting us? Kapag tayo'y pinagkatiwalaan, ang natural na reaksyon natin ay patunayan na hindi nagkamali yung nagtiwala sa atin. Pagbubutihin natin, gagawin natin ng lahat ng ating makakaya na maging katiwatiwala para ipakitang tama siya sa pagtitiwala sa akin. Yung isang alipin na walang ginawa sa ipinagkatiwala sa kanya ng Panginoon, ang kanyang inisip siguro ay hindi naman talaga malaking bagay ang binigay sa akin. Baka hindi ako pinagkakatiwalaan, kaya hindi ko rin pagbubutihin. Mga minamahal na kapatid, katulad ng talinghaga ni Jesus, ang bawat isa sa atin ay pinagkakatiwalaan ng Diyos. God trusts each one of us. God trusts you. May mga tao na ayaw magtiwala sa iyo. May mga tao na pinagdududahan ka. May mga tao na hindi maganda ang tingin sa iyo. Pero ang Diyos, buong buo ang tiwala sa iyo. At dahil pinagkakatiwalaan tayo ng Diyos, pagbutihin natin, galingan natin, Wag nating sayangin ang tiwala ng Diyos sa atin. At wag nating ipakita na nagkamali siya sa pagtitiwala sa atin. Pinagkatiwalaan ka, pagbutihin mo. Pinagkatiwalaan ka, galingan mo. Pinagkatiwalaan ka, ipakita mo na tama siya sa pagtitiwala sa iyo. And there are many things that God has entrusted to us. God has entrusted us with our life. Yung buhay natin, ipinagkatiwala yan ng Diyos sa atin. What have we done with our life? Ano ba ang ginagawa natin sa ating buhay? Nagiging mabuting katiwala ba tayo? ng buhay na ipinagkatiwala sa atin ng Diyos. The life of our family, of our children, of our relatives and friends, ang buhay ng ibang tao ay pinagkakatiwala din sa ating mga kamay. Ano ba ang ginagawa natin sa kanila? Ginagawa ba natin ang ating makakaya para sa kanilang ikabubuti o nagpapabaya ba tayo sa ating tungkulin, sa ating kapwa? God has entrusted us with many gifts, treasures, even material wealth. God has entrusted us with so many blessings. 
What have we done with them? Ano ba ang ginagawa natin sa mga biyayang ipinagkakaloob sa atin ng Diyos? Sinasarili ba natin? Inaangkin lang natin? O hinahayaan natin itong dumaloy para din sa kabutihan ng ating kapwa? God has entrusted us with power, with authority. God has entrusted us with positions of service. May mga pinagkatiwalaan na maglingkod, inihalal sa mga pwesto, inappoint sa mga trabaho. Nagiging mabuting katiwala ba tayo? Yung bang mga pinagkatiwalaan natin, karapat-dapat sa ating tiwala. My dear brothers and sisters, today we honor two women, two mothers in fact. The first is Saint Monica, whose memorial we celebrate today. Saint Monica was the mother of Saint Augustine. And we all know the story, how Monica prayed fervently, even with tears, for the conversion of his son. At makapangyarihan ang panalangin ng isang ina. Ang kanyang panalangin na may pagtangis, pagkatapos ng maraming taon, pinakinggan ng Diyos. Yung kanyang anak na napariwara ang buhay, kung ano-anong kasalanan ang ginawa, ay nagbalik loob na binyagan bilang kristyano at hindi lamang yon Naging pari, naging obispo, at ngayon itinatanghal nating santo at isa sa mga magagaling na guro ng ating pananampalataya. Monica only asked for the conversion of her son. But God gave her more. God gave her a son who is now a saint. God on, or Monica only asked for the conversion of, he, of her son. But God also gave her something more. Even her own husband converted just before he died. God has entrusted to Monica the life of her family. And she did her best to be trustworthy. Ipinagkatiwala sa kanya ang kanyang pamilya at sa pamamagitan ng pananalangin sa Diyos, dinala niya ang kanyang pamilya sa kabutihan, inilapit niya sa Panginoon. Today, we also honor the Blessed Virgin Mary and we welcome this morning to the Manila Cathedral the image of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Cardona Rizal. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa inyo sa pagpunta ngayong umagang ito dito sa Manila Cathedral. At uh, salamat po sa pagdadala ninyo ng mahal na imahen ng ating mahal na ina. Maraming taga Cardona ngayon dito. No? Sarado siguro ang palengke ng Cardona no? dahil nandito kayo. Salamat po. Anong oras ba kayo nagsimulang magbiyahe papunta dito sa Intramuros? No? At nagpapasalamat po ako sa ating parish priest, kay Father Ben Guevara, sa kanyang pagpapaunlak sa uh, pagdadala dito ng imahe ng mahal na birhen na sa October 7 ay magkakaroon ng canonical coronation. Ang ating mahal na ina, isang abang lingkod, a humble servant, entrusted with so great a treasure. 
she was entrusted not only with material wealth, not only with worldly power, she was entrusted with the life of the Son of God. Ang ipinagkatiwala sa Kanya, hindi basta-basta, ang pinagkatiwala sa Kanya, buhay ng anak ng Diyos. And Mary, by being a mother to Jesus, and by being a mother to the community formed by Jesus, the Church, has proved that she is truly trustworthy. Pinagkatiwalaan siya ng Diyos, hindi niya binigo ang Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, we usually say in prayer, Jesus, I trust in you. But Jesus also says to us, I also trust you. May we never break that trust. Please stand. When we appear before the judgment seat of God, we will have to account for our use and misuse of the gifts entrusted to us. In prayer, we seek the help of our Creator. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always use the many different gifts of her members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may respect God's plan by protecting and promoting the value of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all people may share in the earth's resources and that everyone may cooperate in bringing human and economic development to our country. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that doctors, nurses, and those in healthcare profession may use their gifts to bring Christ's love and compassion to the poor, the lonely, the sick, and the imprisoned. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that eternal rest be granted upon our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, Help us to remain faithful in the small things of life so that we may be entrusted with greater ones when we come into your kingdom. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, in, to commemorate Blessed Monica, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an, an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Monica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of Blessed Monica, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel. Nagdarasalin po natin ngayon ang panalangin sa pagtanggap. O Ina ng Diyos at Ina namin, Mahal na Birhen ng Santo Rosario na pinagpala, ikinalulugod at ipinagkakapuri namin ang pagdalaw mong ito sa aming simbahan na yung pinaging dapat na maging pugad ng iyong pag-ibig sa loob ng pitong araw na iyong pagpapala. Basbasan mo kaming lahat at huwag mong itulot na makagawa ng anumang ikalulumbay mo. Kami ay iyo, aming reyna at aming ina. Ingatan mo kaming lagi bilang pag-aari mong tunay, magpakailanman. Amen. Kabaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kami mga makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kami makasalanan. Ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Muli po ay maraming salamat sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta ngayon sa Manila Cathedral at sa pagdadala ng imahe ng ating mahal na ina. Ang imahe pong ito ay mananatili dito sa Manila Cathedral hanggang sa susunod na Sabado 
Kaya meron po tayong isang linggo na makakapiling siya at inanyayahan po namin kayo na dumalaw dito sa Manila Cathedral upang magbigay parangal sa ating mahal na ina. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.